UPSC's latest advertisement for filling 45 senior level posts has triggered a sharp reaction from the opposition. This marks the largest lateral recruitment drive with 10 joint secretary and 35 director and deputy secretary positions advertised since the first set of vacancies announced in 2018. The government claims that the move is aimed at bringing in expertise from outside the traditional civil services, enhancing governance by recruiting specialists from diverse fields. So far, 63 appointments have been made via lateral recruitment, with 57 appointees still serving in their respective ministries. This initiative has triggered a political debate with strong opposition from Congress, RJD and the left who argued that the move undermines the reservation of SC, ST and OBCs. The opposition also claimed that the BJP-led government is attempting to subvert meritocracy, replacing it with a selection process that could serve political ends rather than public welfare. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has been vocal about the matter, accusing Prime Minister Narendra Modi of undermining social justice by bypassing constitutionally mandated reservations. He argues that the scheme privatizes the civil services and denies marginalized communities their rightful access to top government positions. He also cited the example of SEBI appointing its chairperson from the private sector as a warning that such moves could become widespread in governance, causing more trouble. Look, Rahul Gandhi ji ka ye jo lateral entry pe diya gaya bayan hai, bebuniyad hai. Aur ye lateral entry pehle bhi thi, 2017 mein bavasti thi. Unko puri zankari kar leni chahiye, kar leni chahiye. Aur UPSC jaise sanstha pe bebuniyad aarop nahi lagana chahiye. RJD leader Lalu Prasad Yadav termed it the Nagpur model, alleging RSS influence in government appointments. He, along with leaders like Sitaram Yachuri and Mayawati, has alleged that the government is using lateral recruitment to fill key positions with individuals ideologically aligned with the BJP while sidelining SC, ST and OBC candidates. Yachuri pointed out that under the regular UPSC process, 23 of the 45 positions would have gone to SC, ST and OBC candidates under the reservation system. However, BJP leader Amit Malviya defended the move, arguing that the Congress-led UPA too used lateral recruitment and did so without any transparency. He cited a 2016 memorandum that emphasizes maintaining the reservation roster even during lateral hires. In 2019, Union Minister Jitendra Singh argued that lateral entries into bureaucracy are single cadre appointments and hence reservations do not apply here, explaining that the lateral entry officers are a small pool for a short duration of up to five years and so reservation does not make sense. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav tweeted that the concept for lateral entry was established by the Congress-led UPA government. On the other hand, Karge pointed to a decrease in positions available for SC, ST and OBC candidates by 1.3 lakh between 2022 and 23 and accused the Modi government of systematically reducing representation of these groups in higher level positions. This debate raises important questions about the balance between the expertise and equity in governance. While the government says that the lateral entry adds expertise, opposition parties remain firm in their stance that it undermines the social justice framework of reservation enshrined in the Indian constitution.